Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another far, uh, sorry, logging from scratch. I keep wanting to say farming from scratch. I haven't even started a series about farming from scratch yet. Uh, but yeah, so we're just gonna kind of keep cutting away here. Because we have a lot of, a lot of tree to move. I know these, uh, these series are kind of boring when they first start, but I promise you'll watch the development and you guys will be like, well, that's cool. Or maybe you won't, maybe you get bored. That's why I have two series going. So you got the single player series where I'm moving massive amounts of wood with heavy, heavy machinery. And then this one where we're kind of just starting out and learning the learning the straight dope of things. And using only giant's equipment, so that's even making it weirder. Yeah, it's so strange uh, using in-game equipment. I haven't used this uh, in-game stuff in so long. Like I said, the only mod I am using is just this chainsaw. Just because I like my own chainsaw. Alright, let's throw the stuff in the back here. Man, he really throws that stuff. Just really try and take out that back window. So I said, it should have like a headache rack on it or something. Protect its little, uh, little self from breaking. I don't think this truck really likes being loaded with wood though. It kind of jitters around a little bit. But I just don't care. It's going to get all the wood. We're going to drive this thing till it breaks. Which hopefully isn't anytime soon. Hopefully. There we go. And check, oh, check that over there. Let that settle. You know, this might actually be a load by the time we get all this. I don't know if we'll be able to get another tree in here. Not likely. Actually, gotta throw it all in the pile over there just so I don't have to walk so far. Probably could have moved the truck, actually, that would have been a smarter move, but whatever. It's not that far to move. Mm hmm. What we could do is <clears throat> we could buck this uh, end off here. Just to kind of clear the road up, then we can always come back for the rest of it. Just to clean it up a little bit. There we go. Oops. It's a hell of a load this one's going to be. Let's see if we can get it all on there. I think we can. Oops. Oh, man. <laughs> right over the top. There we go. Man. A lot more here than I thought there was. Just gonna keep chucking it in there till we can't fit any more wood. Oh, that was like a body slam there. Just take it down. And there's only like a little bit left of this tree. I think I'm gonna try to fit it all on there. Screw it. Ah, screw it. We'll try to fit it all in there. Why leave just this tiny bit? Alright, what's the point? That's it. Four pieces. We can get four pieces on there. I'm sure, I'm sure we can. Oh yeah, we can get four on there for sure. We'll put one right in there. And then we'll put one right on top, right about there. And then we'll put one right in there. 
And we'll maybe we'll put one right on top, just icing on the cake. Star on the tree, so to speak. There you go. Now that's what you call a load right there, man. Oh yeah, buddy. Pretty stuff. Let's see if it'll lock. Ooh, some of it locked. I don't know about all of it though. That one looks a little sketchy. Oh no, I think it got it all. Now this load will be a little bit heavier. This is like three whole trees. Yeah, I figured. Look at that back in. Look at that torque. Yeah, baby, come on. All right, we're gonna take it real easy on this one going back to that mill because that's a sketchy load. How much do you think that load's worth? So we have forty-four thousand and forty-four dollars right now. Let's see what we jump up to. So forty-four. Let's just say forty-four thousand. Let's not worry about the forty-four. We can round off forty bucks. All right, this is our sketchy corner. We gotta take it easy. Break it down. Break her down. Just nice and easy there on the break in there, bud. If you're using a mouse keyboard, I should really have a wheel. I'm working on getting just like a crappy little wheel. Just so I have something for steering. A little bit nicer steering. Alright. So this time we're going to back it up and unload it proper. Oh, jeez. I just well rolled it again. And this poor truck is just getting abused, hey? Why did I pick white? I could have picked any color, but no, I picked white. All right, can't wait till it gets dirty if it never does. All right, so we're just gonna grab them and chuck them in. So we had 44,000, let's see what we add up to here by the end. Just another day loading old school. Imagine the day we get like a skitter. I'd just drive the skitter down the hill and drag the wood to it. No, we can't do that. That's cheating. Need something that cuts the wood faster, though, that's for sure. This wood type's worth as much. These don't seem to be quite as it, worth as much money. Well, we just hit forty-five thousand now, so roughly almost, you know, a little over nine hundred bucks. Oops. We're doing everything manual style. Nothing automated, no cheating, no griefing, no glitches, no game glitches. So what are we at? $45,200. So minus what, 44 bucks off of that, we made about $1,100 for that load of wood. Which is not too, too bad, actually. I, I don't think it's too, too bad. Now what I would love to do is have some way to I don't know, maybe like drag trees out, down. I wish I had a, like a smaller processor. That's kind of what I want right now, honestly. Like a little, like a little baby processor. Just to cut the logs faster. I think there's like a tree saw or something. Isn't there like an attachment for like a bobcat or something? I don't think we have enough money for a bobcat though. Let's see, we got 45,000. How much is a bobcat? They're probably expensive. They're skid steer? 40, oh we got 45, so... What would we what would we need here? What's this one? It's got like a cu stump cutter. No, I don't want a stump cutter. A well, stump cutter might I don't know if you can cut a tree sideways with a stump cutter. Maybe what's this? A tree saw to cut down trees. Hmm. Maybe a tree. I wish you could use that as like a cutoff saw. That'd be kinda handy. You could just walk them through bing bing bing, cut it into little bits. You can probably do that with this, but I don't know how you would turn it. Hmm. I mean, the chainsaw is still pretty fast, so I'm not worried about cutting down the trees. I'm more interested in cutting up the trees. It's got this log fork. It's got a manure fork. Probably go with the log fork, I guess. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to have to think on that one for a bit and decide what the best method is. 
Let's go back up our little road here. All right, so we're kind of at the end of the video here anyway, so I'm going to park this guy right over in the little hedge here. And uh, when we come back, we'll, we'll keep working our way towards maybe buying that skid steer. And uh, once we get that guy, we'll be able to move the trees a little bit quicker. Maybe. I think, I'll, I think I'll just buy my own mod for that utility trailer because there's nothing... I mean, in real life, you could buy a, like a trailer to haul logs with, right? The fact that I only have the back of this pickup doesn't give me very much room. And the fact that this game doesn't have a utility trailer just drives me bonkers. I thought they... I swear to God they had like a flatbed or something. But, uh... Let's see here. Let's just do a quick scan through. I know they got like these weird little tippers, but the tippers are not the same deal. You know, I'm just looking for like a little, like a little flatbed utility thing that you can attach to the back of the truck. Just for doing basic stuff. Oh, you got this thing. Uh, what's this? A bale trailer used to transport bales. Hmm. I need to look into that. If that, if that thing can A, hook up to the pickup, and B... Uh, lock down logs. Then I could use that as a log trailer. That'd be perfect. What is that? That's a fliegel? Fliegel. All right, I'll, I'll test that after the video. Anyway, um, so yeah, if you guys uh, liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug a tree. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.